Hi there, meteorologist Derek Fisher. Today, what can you say? It was a scorcher. We're going to do it again on Wednesday, which means excessive heat warnings are out for all of eastern Massachusetts. Again, heat advisories elsewhere. It'll feel like the triple digits and then some outside. Currently, we're well up into the 90s across just about all of the area, including all the way up toward Burlington, Vermont. The heat is fully entrenched in the east. The humidity is here as well. Dew points are in the 70s. They'll stay there until Thursday. So we've got a ways to go yet. And with that high humidity, our overnight lows will hold up in the 70s, a low temp of 79 in downtown Boston. So it will be a hot day tomorrow. We start off right around 80 degrees. Temperature is pretty much identical. We'll be well up into the 90s midday through the afternoon. Heat index values will be between 100 and 106. Some oppressive heats in our sunset is at 723. So there's a look at the highs, maybe a degree or so warmer than what we had out there today. Your feels like temps, scan triple digits will be very likely throughout the region uh, for most of the day tomorrow. We'll have our air temps hit 90 by about 10 a.m. At the beach, a southwest wind brings the heat right to the shoreline. Water temps are in the 70s. In terms of records, I think we've got a pretty good shot. The record high in Boston is 96 tomorrow. We're forecasting about 98 degrees. Then on Thursday, a front is slowly moving through the area. And with that slow movement, I think we still have a good chance of hitting the 90s, especially from Boston south and east. That's where we'll have the highest heat and humidity on Thursday. We'll get into some of that relief a little bit faster across New Hampshire, northwestern sections of Massachusetts. That front will also touch off a few showers and thunderstorms, especially from Boston south and east during the afternoon, where we have that higher heat and humidity. And then some relief will move in for Friday. This will be our best day of the forecast, I think. Two points, they settle back to around 60. The air temperatures will be settling back into the 70s, so more seasonable weather. And then as we head toward the weekend, the humidity is going to start to move back up, especially for Sunday and Monday. It's still a little bit of a tough call for the holiday weekend. Right now, it looks like our best chance for cloud cover, some cooler temps, and maybe a few showers would be Saturday with warmer and more humid air as we head into Sunday and Monday. And if you look at our seven day, we'll be into the 80s on Sunday and close to 90 on Monday and close to 90 on Tuesday as well. So this big summer heat is definitely sticking around.